Okay, Chief Police Volume 3. Uh, quick explanation. Yesterday, queued up, just memeing on the Smurf. Chilling, right? Chilling, playing with some friends, obviously. Anyway, run into three players with Asian characters as their names. I believe both of the DPS have Chinese characters and the, um... The Zenyatta has Korean characters, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. I don't read either of the languages, so I'm unfamiliar with the uh, with the um, alphabet. So I could be totally wrong, but from the looks of it, it looks about that. Anyway, basically the entirety of the game, we had people complaining that these players were cheating. Now, I didn't think so. These players are have similar. They, they have the same names as some. Um, uh, very talented, higher level a a Asian players um, on Korea servers. Typically, there were 4,300. I won't name their names because if they actually are them, then I don't want to like out them for smurfing. But I know both of these DPS have the same names as smurf accounts as 4,300 Korean players. Is all I'm gonna say. Uh, the um, the Zinya player, I don't recognize the name at all. I have no idea. Now, they're all on relatively new accounts, I believe. So, the Ash is on a level 36 account. Hanzo is on a level 30 account. The Zinya is on a uh, level, or, well, level uh, 505 account. So, this one's not very new, but... Doesn't matter. They can still smurf. So, we'll have a look at the Ash first. Now, the only... The person they were accusing of cheating the most was the Zinya. The Zinya was... Um, saying, oh, this guy's cheating, because he would flank a lot, and he would get away with all of his flanks, because, now, I thought they were just very good players, I wasn't getting very salty about it, I was just saying, guys, we should dodge the game, because this game will be very boring for you guys, we decided not to dodge, that's fine, uh, and then everyone started complaining about how they were too good, and they were cheating, so, we're gonna have a look at the Ash first, now, to start things off, I don't want to be very biased. I'm not going to say, oh, this player's cheating because he's very good, or, oh, this player isn't cheating because I think he's someone that he's not. I'm going to be completely honest, and we're going to go over it, and we're going to look for some evidence, and if there isn't any, there isn't any. The, the player's just very good. If there is some, then there is some. It is what it is. Terrible dynamite. Okay, so f already, this player does not look like a very high-level Ash player. That, that could just be a mistake, that could just been unlucky, it could be his first game in a while, it could be rusty, it could be a million things it could be, but from just that alone, doesn't look like a fantastic start. Spamming the diva here, shooting Zen, missing a lot of shots, movement's relatively poor, hitting the Ana quite hard, missing. Tries to coach gunner dynamite, I mean, sure, I shouldn't have confidence to hit it. Hands on hands. Hitting a lot of body shots here. This is a not a very good angle, but I mean the okay. This is very aggressive. Missing. A, okay, that was a nice shot. There was there was something to look at there. So the ways crosser followed him looked a little strange, but we'll go over it. Could be literally anything, but it's important to look. So what are we gonna see? We're gonna see him throw the dynamite here, trying to light him on fire. Get info about how close he is to the dynamite as well. This isn't just for damage; it's for info. So the dynamite goes off and he knows he's not within the dynamite range, so he knows he's going to be on the right side somewhere. He is, sees him, he's climbing up the side, misses a hip fire shot, hits him in the leg with a hip fire, misses a hip fire, scopes, misses a scoped, tracking, he's following him, tracks his head very nicely and then as soon as the kill happens he stops tracking very well. You can see the Hansel's doing very well, we'll have a look at him. But, so far, Ash doesn't look super weird. That was definitely a little bit funky in terms of the tracking there, the way uh, it tracked very nicely on the head, and then as soon as the kill happened, the tracking became very poor afterwards. But, not a huge deal, it can happen. Random dynamite, their teammates were just there, there was no point in doing that, he already had info that no one was there, but that's fine, I guess. Seeing the shurikens come through the window, we got the sonar. The Hanzo, be pre fire shots, early reload, big dynamite, spamming shield. I'm okay with this, this is fine. I'm gonna watch the other side, this is smart. Mess. Coach guns themselves back to safety, this is totally fine. Low HP Hanzo, kills that guy. Okay, so already I'm gonna say, now I could be totally wrong, This I could be 100% wrong. I'm not gonna say I'm right, 
but this player does not look very good so already i'm going to say this is not the player that i thought it was because the player i thought it was although a hit scan player is far superior in basically every way this guy's positioning is great it's cool than usage could be better his aim is pretty not very good it's probably maybe around platinum level ish diamond platinum um so not great but already i'm thinking this guy's not cheating i mean this guy's not really outputting enough for us to see he definitely could be but right now i haven't seen anything yet i'm going to be fairly quick with this i don't want to stop it too often because we have three players to go through so, okay, let's skip forward a little bit. A little bit of spam, hitting shield again, sees the Hanzo. Spamming a few shots. Yeah. Okay, this guy is not the best. This guy misses a Okay, wait, hold on. No, I blinked when that happened, so I, I want to have a look. Let's see how he tracks the Ryan when he comes by. Misses. I mean, a little weird looking, but I mean, I, I mean, it doesn't, it's not necessarily anything, but definitely looked a little weird. Sure. Sure. Not, not too weird. They start spawn camping us, by the way, because of the Sanzo. Oh, at least I think they spawn camping us. Dragons, spamming, mess, mess again, mess another one. If he's cheating, he's got it down real low. That's all I'm saying. Okay, our Ryan's positioning here is... Yeah, okay. Okay, th this, uh, okay. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but this Ash is almost certainly not cheating. Not only are they not cheating, they're actually kind of bad. So these these players are not the players I, th I thought they were. Which is at least good to know. At least the Ash is. The other players still could be, but the Ash still is. Shooting shields, kind of just... Terrible coach gun. It's an okay dynamite. Good info. Terrible positioning. That was an alright coach gun. Gets him to where he wants to be. Another dynamite. Miss, miss. Miss again on this dynamite. Shoots the diva. Almost dies to the diva bomb. Tracer doesn't kill him. Random Bob. Okay, so I'm going to say the Ash isn't cheating. I could be wrong because I haven't looked at it enough, but from what I've seen, Sasha is not cheating. We're going to go through the whole game, of course, because we don't want there to be something that we miss, but we got rolled on here. Just keep going. Click through it. Uh, the Ash is actually not in the game anymore. Okay, now they're back. Oh, no, man, they are in the game, sorry, they just unpicked. Here we are. So they've gone Echo now. Let's see what they do on Echo. Now that they're on Projectile, maybe they're not a hit scan player. Okay, the terrible stickies. Rough movement here, spamming the shield. Okay, alright, stickies, I guess he wanted to break the shield. Good spam, this is a good poke. Very aggressive, but gets away with it. More kind of bad sticky usage. Maybe this guy is like uh, a tracer one trick or something, and he's just like trying to land another hero on us. But right now, he doesn't seem very good at all. This guy seems kind of bad. Just general spam. Not really doing much. And he's dead. Okay. This guy's definitely not cheating. Definitely, definitely not. Okay, then we get rolled. Let's go back to the very start of the game. Okay, I'm just saying, not cheating. Let's have a look at the Hanzo now. This Hanzo was doing very, very well. So maybe he's just an incredibly good Hanzo player. Or maybe we're terrible. Let's have a look. So what does he do? So he sonars the door, gets some info, spams the storm arrows. Okay, now that's kind of indicative of a higher level player. He shoots his sonar and he sees, and then when he backs off, as he's running away, he looks back to see everyone coming through the door, because they're going to walk through his sonar as well. And if they walk through his sonar, he's going to get more info. So he keeps looking back at the sonar to get as much info as possible out of it, which is more likely to be a higher level player doing it. Normal, general spam. This is fine. Mess. Ooh, nice, nice shot. Okay, let's have a look at that. So, oh, it's gonna be a little while, I think. 
Okay, well, actually, when does this Genji do? Oh, no, there's the dash. Okay, so he dashes. It's gonna flick over. Not a very big over flick, so potentially good aim. Then he's falling. Very nice. Looked very clean. I'm not mad at it at all. Good snaps, good flicks. Not insanely accurate. Not, not accurate. Very good. Okay, so far, this Hanzo looks like a normal player. This looks totally normal. Couldn't even see the Diva, but it doesn't matter. Nice shot. Pretty rough tracking, but let's go over all of this. Let's go see him kill the Diva. Okay, I mean, like, I mean, there's nothing to really look at. I mean, he couldn't even, we can't even see what's going on. So he draws his arrow, uses his jump. Sees the Rhine. So look, he pies the corner. So he's looking around the corner to see if he's over here. He's gonna. He wanted to keep going out and keep pieing this corner so he could he could see the the Rhine, which means I don't think he's walling. At least he's not showing it by pieing the corner like that because he he over aims him and he starts checking where he could be when he's already on his screen. Natural reaction. Shoots right into where his head would be. No weird snap or anything. See the storm arrow. Flicks to where he saw the Zen moving, flicks back to where he was, flicks back to me, hits me in the legs. This guy's totally fine so far. Nothing weird at all. Oh, okay, that was something to look at. So that looked a little weird. Now, I could be seeing things, but to me that looked very a little a little weird. That's a little, a little weird to it. The way he tracked looked very kind of odd, and I'll explain why. Now, I'm not just saying this, this guy could totally be legit, and it could just be something I'm seeing. But to me, it looked a little weird. Alright, so that arrow would have headshot, it looked like that. I mean, that was looking like it was going to headshot them, but the rock hits them. This sound is horrible of him getting healed. So he's tracking him, tracking him, tracking him. Normal. Okay, I mean, I want to have a look at it one more time. In fast motion. Could just be, could just be good tracking, I suppose. But yeah, it's pretty good. This is fine. Wait for this fight to finish. Sonar is the Ryan. A little early storm arrow. I don't know why you would use storm arrow here, considering the fact that you could only get info while you were in the air and you were falling. But then this is us rotating into this room again, so just spamming random arrows in there. Terrible positioning, but doesn't matter. Kills the Genji. Random spam. Don't know why he would sonar that. So, a little weird. So, the things that are weird. In terms of mechanical skill, this Hanzo is pretty good. He's not bad at Hanzo at all. He's pretty good. His arrows are good. His cooldown usage is pretty rough. It's pretty bad. His storm arrows at weird times. He uses his jump weirdly. His sonars are pretty bad. Um, but like, like the last time when he sonared um, over here and there was a Ryan there, you could see the Ryan's shields already knew the Ryan was there, but he sonared anyway. I don't know, he could have sonared the other side maybe, but I don't know. So, I'm going to go over this in a slightly slower motion here. Hold on, let me go forward a little bit. So he's already hit him here. This is where he sonars. Okay. Go up here. Right, okay. Let's have a look. So... Flicking over, flicking over, where to where he's gonna be, shoots, body shot, normal, random sonar, I don't understand the purpose of this, and he doesn't even charge it either, he just shoots kind of where he's going. Interesting, not doing anything yet, F flicks, messes. My and then gets diffed. Okay. Okay. N normal. Very normal. Oh, he gets rezzed. Okay. <clears throat> now, it could, it could just be very low FOV, high smooth, things like that. But right now, nothing really says that. General spam. I'm okay with it. Another terrible sonar. Just a waste. Spam. I look like some good tracking, but not necessarily a difficult thing to track. 
Another bad sonar. Okay, so already this guy is not a good player. But his aim is okay. So maybe he's like diamond. So let's see. He flicks. Okay, see like these are the things that I look for. That does not look human. Now maybe we maybe you don't see what I see, but this does not look very human to me at all. So he, he flicks to their head, right? And and here's the thing, right? Once you flick on Hanzo, there's no need to do anything else. That's it. Because you can't do anything else unless you want a storm arrow. But he doesn't have his storm arrow. So instead of flicking to the diva, look what he does instead. So he uses his jump. Flicks at the diva. Observe the barrier. Okay, so as you can see, so he's flicking at one speed. He's like smoothly going at like one speed. Like look look how smooth he is with one speed. So look, very normal. Look at the speed he's tracking at. Starts moving his mouse, and then all of a sudden starts accelerating very fast towards them, which is weird. If you're gonna flick, you just kind of flick. You don't go, you know, you don't start slow and then start going fast because it's just like a very weird motion. It's very inconsistent. It, it will, you just don't do it. It's weird. So he's gonna flick, shoots his arrow. So he, he's actually shot before he he fully flicked because he's flicking so fast, and he flicks right to our head. So look, lands directly in the middle of our face, which is. In maybe just very good aim then he over flicks them but then continues tracking them and they're perfectly so he's not on them but tracking their movement perfectly as they fall for just a just a little second so flicks the head lands directly on it and then tracks them a little bit like it just looks a little funky it looks a little weird could be normal could could be human but like flicks directly onto their head it continues the weird tracking motion on them and then he sonars nothing again for some strange reason. Hits him. Um, okay. There's not a lot to look at. But it's definitely something. Hmm. Just chilling in this room. Dragons. Oh! I think we got him, boys. That does not look good for you, brother. Let's have a look. So he dragons them. Good dragon. Cuts their team in half. So it's going to cut the Ryan away from the rest of his team. Genji dashes on him. Reacts by shooting where he was. Totally normal human. Flicks back to where he was. Goes for the melee expecting him to have hit the arrow. And he's going to melee. So this guy. I think this guy is a diamond level player. But I think he may have a little something. So he's going to Flick to where the Genji's going. Good awareness. Flicks onto him. On his head perfectly. In slow-mo, it doesn't look that weird. But in, in, in this, it looks a little weird. Like, look at the tracking. Like, look how... Okay, keep in mind... Look at it in slow motion again. Look, Keep in mind how quickly this Genji's moving. To track like this is in pretty nuts. Like, well, let's watch it back in, in fast speed again. So he sonars them, dragons, Genji's gonna dash, and then look at the tracking. Hmm, no, I, I'm, um, okay. Humanly possible? Yes. There are players with aim good enough to do this. Consistently? I'm not 100% sure. Probably not consistently, but definitely possible. But it looked really funky. Like, super weird. I want to watch it again. Keep in mind how quickly this Genji's moving when he's doing this. No. No, no, no. I don't believe it. Considering the fact the rest of his aim hasn't been this tracky or, or this snappy or anything like that. Or, like, glued to people like this. Like, if he was consistently aiming like this, I may, wouldn't necessarily have a massive issue with, with this. But it's the fact that it's so out of nowhere. Like, he hasn't done anything like this all game. And then all of a sudden, it has, like, the most unbelievably perfect tracking of a target ever. Now, not tracking as in keeping his crosshair on someone, but tracking as in aware of their movement, where they're going, how quickly they're moving, and where he needs to put his crosshair in order to hit them. That's an extremely difficult thing to do. And for him to do it that robotically looks kind of weird to me. Doesn't mean he's cheating, but definitely looks weird. It's, uh, it's out of character for the rest of his gameplay. Okay, and then like when he flicks the people, he kind of misses a lot. And when he's tracking, he hits them. So look, we're gonna see this. 
We're gonna see this handle claiming. This is a very easy shot to hit, by the way. I mean, this handle is basically completely stationary. You can hit this, especially if you just hit what you hit on that the Genji. Flicks and then misses. Weird. That looked very human. Then he's gonna flick up to him, start tracking his movement. Then he shoots. I mean, nothing robotic at all. These are very normal shots. Terrible movement, though. Normal looking storm arrows. I mean, nothing weird. Just general spam. Jumps into the fire strike. Genius. Sonar's nothing again. Just another bad sonar. But he gets info on this Genji now, so maybe not that bad. I think it was more luck than anything that he got info on the Genji. I shoot the sonar straight into the Diva's defense matrix. I think they were looking for the tracer there. Okay, I want to have another look. I don't think that looked necessarily weird, but just something to maybe have a look at. Maybe there was something in it. So what's he gonna shoot the Diva? So I couldn't even see the Diva there. Let's see how he sees the Diva. So maybe he just shoots at the, the mech. But we'll see. Okay, it looked like he just took a shot at the mech and then had to do that. Tracking on the tracer. Normal. Actually, kind of bad. Does he get rezzed? No. He has to run back from spawn. Running all the way back. Sonar. Storm arrow. Okay, then we'll have a look at the next round. Here we are. Chilling at spawn. Come on, bro. Let's get us through this. Normal. Just doing the, the, the traditional spam spot. Okay, this is more high level-ish. Like, this is a nice spot to spam. Look very normal. Dice. Very normal. Very, very normal looking. Very normal. Headshots, the hog didn't look weird at all. Well, that looks a little weird, though. Well, that does look a little weird. Hold on. Okay, so full power. Aiming on the hog's head. Stops tracking completely. Starts tracking him. And, like, weirdly shoots him. Okay. Listen, I'm not necessarily saying it's cheating to do that. But it just doesn't look very normal to, to shoot like that. We'll have another look. Maybe, maybe. It just looks very weird. Then he then he gets rolled. And then he has to walk back from spawn. And then they win. Okay. So Okay. Let's go over. The Ash chances of cheating are like out of ten, like zero being this guy is not cheating at all. Not even a little bit. Zero, I'm a thousand percent sure. Ten being this guy's fucking spin botting blatantly cheating. The ash is like a one. There's the slightest possibility, but it's basically nil. It's it's essentially not gonna happen. The Hanzo, I think in terms of cheating, is more like a five, where it's like he's more likely to be cheating than not, in my opinion. But he didn't really show anything that's gonna make me say definitely is, but potentially, yes. Mostly because of his very weird behavior, his lack of consistently being good, like his aim, very good. For for this level, like a diamond, like a, like a low masters, mid diamond-ish level, totally fine. This is totally fine aim for that kind of level. I, I would say that's fine. Sonar use, awful. Just, just awful. Storm arrow use was absolutely awful as well. His funky tracking on certain targets and his general aim style just did not look remotely human at all at some point. And then sometimes he was very accurate and very, very good and could snap to targets in the middle of their face consistently. Sometimes he couldn't hit targets standing still. Just wildly inconsistent. Very weird. So, I would say a 5 is fair. I'm not willing to say he is cheating. I'm not willing to say he isn't. Let's have a look at the Zinyana. We'll try and be fast here because I already know this this video is already going to be quite long. So I don't want to like make you guys sit through a super long video and then it be 
But anyway, so what are we going to do here? This guy right clicked a lot, by the way. Right clicks a single shot, spam, right clicks two shots, mashing his discord. One right click, two right clicks. Super weird. Already, okay. Already, this Hanzo, this, this Zenyatta player is fucking awful. This guy is terrible. Terrible. Now, nah, not, okay. I think terrible is unfair. He could be charging his right clicks until he sees it, um, enemies he wants to fight. And then he's just do getting unlucky with his timing. Like every time he starts charging his right click, he sees an enemy that he needs to hit that's moving out of his LOS. So he just lets his right click go. But the amount of times he's just pressed right click and just shot one orb is kind of crazy. But flicking around a lot. R like look at him right clicking two orbs at a time. Super weird. Alright, okay. A little weird looking, but nothing I'm going to complain about. I think he did anything weird there. Keep going, hiding in this corner. He's staring at nothing. Still hiding in the corner. Charging his right click. Hits them all in the Ana. Good aim. Looked like good aim there. Let's have another look. So he's charging it for these guys and sees the Ana scoped shooting, like shooting with her scope up. Gives her away. Comes around the corner. Aims on her head. Pretty normal looking. I want to have another look though. It was definitely something. So he's gonna flick to the Anna and then he's gonna make a micro adjustment. Let's have a look at the micro adjustment. So he sees her, he's gonna come around the corner, flicks to her, micro adjustment onto her head. Okay, normal. I'm not gonna say it looks weird at all. Pretty normal. Charging right clicks. He's gonna run right through him. Just egos the fuck out of that Ryan player. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice shots. Very nice. Let's have another look at that. So he's going to see this D.Va. Headshot. Discords. Headshots her again. Breaks mech. Goes for the melee. So far, this guy's looking pretty good. Maybe I was wrong about the right clicks at the start. Caesar going up. Flicks up to her, gets her in a comfortable range, predicts the motion she's going to make, starts the right click, good track, gets the melee, okay, this guy's just good, this guy's a good zen player. Okay, yeah, this guy's a good zen player, this guy's a good zen player. I'm not even going to rewatch that, I don't care. This guy's a good zen player. He's doing chilling in this corner again, getting ready for another flank. So he gets a kill here on me. Charging his right click. Bunch of body shots. Hitting the Hanzo. He goes the fuck out of him. Keep killing Yana. Anna just doesn't kill him for some reason. Okay. Emotes. Good one. This guy's a good Zen player. This guy's a good Zen player. I don't think this guy's cheating. So far, anyway, it's just hiding in this corner, actually. This guy just loves to flank. This is what I'm saying. This is why people said he was cheating, because he flanked so much. Charging his right click. Sees me. Tracking looked a little weird. It definitely looked a little weird. You're going to start his right click. Comes around the corner. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Comes around. Sees me right clicking, so he's going to obviously know I'm there. Considering which target to go for. Decision I'm the best target. Sees the motion I'm traveling in. Tracks me pretty well. Okay, okay. A little something there, a little weird. Now to okay, the micro tracking is pretty nuts here. So he's tracking me perfectly in the direction I'm going. Staying on me. Okay, actually no. It in terms of it just looks like good tracking to be honest. He's gonna try and stick it out because he doesn't want to die. No, he's following me around because he wants to. He wants to fight me. I think. Realizes I'm going back to my team. Plenty of left clicks. Getting ready. Oh yeah, this guy's a good Zen player. This guy's a very good Zen player. Ooh. Okay. All right. Might have seen something there. Now I could be wrong, but we'll have a look at that. Charging right clicks. 
doesn't give a shit about me, wants to go for this Ana, because you can see her through the wall because of, uh, of the Discord. <gasps> right clicks. Okay, never mind, I'm wrong. I thought he started pre-tracking her jump, like, as she started doing it, like an aimbot would do, to, so, it can so it can hit its projectiles. But it doesn't look like it's doing that. No. Look at it in fast motion again, but it looks relatively normal in slow-mo. Definitely looked a little jumpy, though, which is what I'm saying. It looked a little jumpy, but so far, nothing weird. This guy look, just looks like a good Zen player. Although he does right click like one orb a lot, which is a little weird. I don't know why he would do that. Oh, and then he goes for this flank. Yeah, this is. He kills Rana doing this. Yeah, look, there we go. Okay, so we'll have a look at this. This is where people started really saying this guy was cheating. Okay. I mean, that was pretty normal to me. I don't see the problem with that at all. That looked totally normal. Totally normal to me. Charging his right click again. Cancels it. Charging his right click again. Pretty normal. Pretty normal. Pretty normal. Maybe some some weird tracking on the tracer. She was AD strafing in the air. We'll have another look. Misses right clicks. Tra discords the tracer. Tracking her left. Ooh, his tracking looked a little jumpy there for a second. Hold on. Let me show you what I'm what I'm seeing. Look look at his crosshair. See that see that little like Hmm, that looked a bit aimbotty to me. Look at this. Look at his crosshair. Look at the way he jumps left and right here. Ooh, left, right, left, right, left. And, the, and he's back to the normal. Then he's on her again. Predicts her where she's moving in the air. To her left. Hits her. To her left. Misses. To her left. Misses. Because of the recall. Where's she gonna end up? Charging his right click. Sees her. Predicting she's gonna run around the corner, perhaps. Peeking her so he can get his right click off. Still charging it, still charging it. Fires it off into nowhere. Tracer's coming around the corner, he's got five shots left. Caesar. Pies the corner. Discord. Kicks her. Come on, left click her right in the face. Yes, okay. Normal, very normal. There was definitely some stuff in this fight that didn't look normal, but this. Ooh, maybe not normal actually. Look how fast, like look how quickly he accelerates. Coming around the corner, Caesar, flick, Discord's on her. Good tracking, good tracking, and then ends the snaps to her face. Let's watch it in fast motion. I went back so far. When's he fighting? Okay, here we go. Charging the right click. Fires off into nowhere. Okay, actually, in fast motion, it looked totally normal. That's something like basically any decent Zen player can do. Charging right click again. Ooh, good shots on the head, though. Teabags the fuck out of him. Egos him. Ooh, good shots. Ooh, good shots. Okay, this guy's a good Zen player. This guy's looking like a good Zen player to me. That looked a little weird, though. So Kevy shoots the baby diva. There's some things that do not look human, but I it could be totally normal. Come on. Tracking her weirdly, that looks totally fine. Tracking where she would have been if she hadn't died. Let's look at it again in fast motion. Maybe I missed it. All right, okay. Just looks like good micro tracking. Very nice. Okay, let's go to the next round here. Skip through all of these loading times. Skip through all of this. Right, what's he gonna do? Harmony. Right clicks at nothing. Going for the flank. Nice. Let's do it. Pies the corner. Sends up his harmony. Goes to the high ground. It's going all the way around. Ooh, that is definitely something to look at. Right, let's have a look at this. Sees the Anna decides I want to kill her. Starts holding his right click. Flicks onto her very nicely. Tracking her very well. On her. On her. 
Still tracking your movement well. Oh, but it's very... Oh, okay. Right. So something I want to go over. Now, it looks relatively human. But look. So he's tracking her downwards. And then she starts moving this way. But his crosshair is still moving this way. Which makes me think it's more human than robot. Because he's tracking the direction she was moving a few milliseconds ago. Instead of continuing to track that way. So look. So it's moving the other direction. Flicks up to her head. And it looked a little snappy. It definitely looked a little janky. But the rest of the tracking looked pretty normal. So he's on her. Flicks to her head. Big snap. So like my problem here isn't the fact that he snapped. Okay. I don't mind that he flicks to her head. Okay. The, the flick to her head is totally fine. My problem is the, the micro movement afterwards. So let's go back. Keep going back. Right here we are. He's tracking, 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 tracking. Goes off her, back on her, flicks to her head. And then micro tracks that slight pixel in movement. Mmm. I don't. That doesn't look very human to me. Ooh, okay. This guy looks like a good Zen player that might have a little something helping him out. Mmm. Okay. That so far is, is the most convincing thing I've seen. Misses all of his right clicks. Very nice left clicks. Could have been no, could have been human. Could have not been. I don't know. Now I will say again, like I said in the other one of these, if you watched it, is cheats in Overwatch are actually very very good in compared to other games. It's very 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 easy to make cheats in this game that look extremely human. It's it's actually very easy. So it's actually extremely difficult to see if people are cheating, especially if they've conflicted it well. So that's why I go over these in light. Good tracking. Just shooting the Ryan in the back because he can get away with it. Looking for the break. Thought they went to high ground. Very nice. This is me. I think. Beats the shit out of me. Kicks me. Normal. I'm just going to right click this Ryan in the face. Charging his right click. Deletes them. Kills the Tracer. Okay, just fucking own does all. Just taking some left clicks at him. Normal tracking. I want to have a look at it again, but it looked normal. Okay, so what's he gonna do here? Soldier's gonna jump down. Looks pretty normal to me. Right click. Ooh. Well, maybe it's not that normal. Okay. Okay. Charging his right click. And then he's gonna realize he's moved. Flick onto him. Past him. Right click. Right click. Snap. Snap again, snap again. Ooh, a little weird. Maybe he's lagging, but it looks a little weird to me. It looks a little weird. Like, ooh, it's the lack of consistency in movement. It's snap, snap, snap. Like, do you see it? There's like three very prominent individual snaps. And it could just be him having low frame rate issues from lagging. But, mm, the snaps, snap, snap, snap. Like, the, ooh, look at the snaps. Like, they're very prominent. They're so prominent. Watch it in like slightly. S look, snap, snap, and then snaps back to him again. Oh, okay, right. My verdict for this game: the chances of the Ash cheating about one. The chances are extremely small. Like really, really, really small. I'd be very surprised if they were, but I don't think they are. This Zinya, I think is more likely to be cheating or no I, th I think they're less likely to be cheating than the hanzo because the hanzo is fucking awful but he kills a lot of things and he looks very weird so i think he's cheating and these players were all queued together so they're a trio so if one of them cheats makes me think maybe more than one of them is cheating maybe they're all a trio cheating together but i think the zenyatta is about uh, just as likely to be cheating as the hanzo because although this Zenyatta displays quite a bit of skill and his prowess with his hero, you know, his right clicks, pretty good. Positioning, good. It takes a lot of ego duels. His, his engages are well timed. Things like that. Pretty good. And he's not he's not looking at people through walls. He's not looking at weird angles. He's not doing anything weird. He's just pieing corners properly. Looks normal. Looks just a good Zen play. But there's a few things in here that look a little weird and they could be boiled down to frame rate issues, lag, it could be a ton of things. Maybe this is an Asian player playing on 
I think we're on NA servers at this time. So very possible this guy's just a Korean player. He's got 140 ping, 180 ping, something like that. And he's just lagging, so it looks a bit weird. But to me, this guy's just as likely to be cheating as the hands up. So I think he's about 5 out of 10 in terms of cheating. I think it's like ooh, pretty 50-50 whether he is or he isn't. I think he's a good Zen player with something helping with like a very low FOV, high smooth aimbot. To me, anyway, but the chances are relatively. He, you could honestly, you could tell me he's a legit player, and I would believe you. You could tell me he was cheating. I would also probably believe you. I don't know. It's hard to say. I'm not gonna. I'm not willing to say any three of these players are cheating. To me, all three of these players are completely normal human beings. Because there's not enough evidence to say they are cheating. I think they're all normal human. They're not cheating at all. However, there's definitely some weird things that are indicative of cheating. And definitely some things that make it look that way. And there's a lot of consistencies with cheats in this game. There's aiming styles that are very consistent with cheaters. There's the weird snaps that I was talking about. There's the insanely precise tracking. The insanely good spatial awareness. All those things. But you could convince me these players were cheating. If there was slightly more evidence. But for now, I'm not comfortable saying they are cheating. But there's definitely a chance. Just to clear up, I don't want to like be like, oh, these guys are cheating, and then then not be cheating, you know? So, not enough evidence for me to say they're cheating, but there's definitely something here to look at. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was a fun one. This is more of the cheat police that I like. Difficult cases where there's a little something from now and then, you know, maybe there's something to look at, maybe the... Maybe they're maybe they're playing very very well, but something's a little funky. Like the Zen player, like we had like a very very nice margin of error here, like extremely tiny. Like that's how I like I like the hard cases because these are the fun ones. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. This was actually a lot of fun to go over, but this was quite a long one, so I'll try and boil it down a little. I'll try and edit it and try and piece it together a little better because I get this video is probably like an hour long for a seven minute game. Anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed. If I run into more cheaters, I want to keep doing these, though, because these are a lot of fun. Anyway, I love all of you guys. I'll see you later.